This girl found a skeleton in the grass, but when she looked closer, she was in total shock. Lydia had always been a very curious girl. When she was younger, she loved to wander off and explore the local woods and abandoned buildings around her. As she got into her teen years, the young girl eventually began recording her adventures and setting up an urban exploration social media channel. Her channel was a great success, but she could never have expected what she would find during one of her trips. Lydia's day started off like any other normal day. She had decided that she would finally explore an old, abandoned mansion near her home and film it for her Instagram page. Lydia made herself some lunch before setting off for the day. She ended up at the mansion and walked around, documenting all of the creepy rooms and weird noises that she found and heard. As lunch rolled around, the young woman decided to go outside to enjoy the sunny day. She ventured a little further away to the nearby woods, however, and just as she was about to sit down next to a tree, Lydia noticed something strange. It looked like a pile of dirty clothes or rags. Not wanting to sit next to it, the young woman began to walk away, but as she walked past the pile of clothes, she couldn't help but look at it a bit more closely, and she was in total shock at what she saw. Instead of a pile of rags, Lydia realized that the object was actually a skeleton. The girl couldn't be sure, but she thought that the skeleton resembled that of a dog. She crept closer in the hopes that she would be able to identify the body that she had found. However, as she was only a few feet away from the skeleton, it suddenly moved. A tail peeked out from the emaciated body and began to wag lethargically. There was very little energy in the movement, but Lydia noticed it and couldn't believe her eyes. The animal was actually still alive, but how could it be? The creature was clearly skin and bones, and Lydia had no clue how the poor thing could still be alive whilst looking like it hadn't had a decent meal in weeks. It was so emaciated that despite being close to it, Lydia still couldn't determine what kind of animal it was. At that moment, the strange animal lifted its head and looked at Lydia. The young girl gasped. Looking into the eyes of the beast, she saw that it was full of love, but that it was weary due to its poor condition. Lydia knew that she couldn't leave the poor creature all alone again. If she did, then it would surely die due to how skinny it was. Wanting to help the animal, Lydia began to talk to it in a soft and gentle voice, reassuring the creature that she wouldn't hurt it and that she was there to help it instead. The animal watched her approach cautiously, but despite obviously being mistreated, it didn't try to growl at the young girl to stay away. In fact, once Lydia was close enough to pat the animal on the head, the creature actually leaned into her touch and wagged its tail even more. Just at that moment, Lydia heard a loud growl. However, it wasn't coming from the animal being angry at her, but instead from its stomach. It seemed that the creature had smelled the small amount of food that Lydia had packed herself for lunch and its belly had responded in kind. Chuckling at the response, Lydia took out her chicken sandwich and took the meat off of the bread. She then carefully threw the chicken onto the ground right in front of the creature, who wolfed it down within seconds. Lydia knew that it was better that she did not try to feed the animal by hand, as a starved animal could turn aggressive around food if they hadn't had any in a long time. Once the food was gone, the young girl then took her bottle of water and poured a little bit into a bit of abandoned rubbish so that the creature could have something to drink. Once again, the poor thing drank all of the water as quickly as it could. Once suitably refreshed, Lydia then had to face the next problem. How was she going to move the animal when it clearly couldn't support itself? The young woman sat next to the creature, contemplating how to get it back to her home. Deciding that there was no other way to get the poor animal the medical attention that it needed, Lydia carefully approached the animal and picked it up. The young girl then walked all the way back to town and subsequently to the local vets so that she could get the creature the help that it needed. As soon as the young girl entered the vets, the animal was whisked out of her arms and taken for a checkup so that the veterinarian could assess just how severe the poor animal's condition truly was. It was here that the young girl also learnt what kind of creature she had found. It turned out that Lydia had stumbled across an extremely emaciated dog. More specifically, it was a lurcher that she had found. 
The vet told the young girl that this breed of dog was often used for racing or for catching fast game such as rabbits and hares due to how fast they are. As well as that, these types of dogs are also known as one of the skinniest dogs. However, Lydia knew that the lurcher she had found was much too skinny to be anywhere close to its natural weight. As it turned out, she was right. The dog, which turned out to be a girl, weighed a shocking 22 pounds, 10 kilograms, instead of the average 35 pounds, 16 kilograms, that she should have been. Heartbroken at the state of the creature, the vet let Lydia know that it would take a lot of patience and love to help get the dog back to the health that she should have been. But the young girl couldn't simply leave the poor dog to her fate, and so, determined to nurse her back to health, Lydia took the lurcher, who she named Poppy, back to her home to start the long process of rehabilitation. For the first few weeks, Lydia had to keep Poppy on a strict diet of nutrient-high food, which would help her gain weight quickly. She also had to take the canine to the vets for regular checkups, as there was a very serious chance that she could suffer from organ failure from the lack of nutrients in her system. Thankfully, Poppy was able to pull through her ordeal and slowly but surely began to put on weight. Before long, Lydia was able to start giving her new furry friend some treats, along with introducing her to some new food. Along with her improved health, Poppy's behavior also improved. The canine became happier and a lot more playful once she had the energy to run around. As well as that, she loved to have a cuddle off of Lydia and would curl up on the sofa with the young woman during the evening. After a few months, Poppy was unrecognizable. She had put on the 15 pounds, 7 kilograms that she needed to reach her healthy goal weight, and she had become a happy and content young pup. Eventually, the vet told Lydia that the canine was ready to be put up for adoption at the local shelter. However, Lydia didn't want to let her go. She and the lurcher had created a strong and special bond, and she knew that she couldn't give the canine up. Luckily, she didn't have to, and Lydia became the new owner of Poppy. The two lived together happily. Lydia was forever grateful that she had found the poor dog on that fateful day, and Poppy felt the same. The transformation that the dog had undergone was unbelievable, and it was all thanks to Lydia, who had given her the time, love, and patience to heal at her own pace. Thankfully, though, neither the dog or the girl had to worry about something so terrible happening ever again, as Lydia promised to care and love Poppy with all of her heart. What a sweet story! Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible tales. And if you can't wait until then, you can head on over to my channel to find even more amazing stories.